because she's been really nice to me. She's been very Aww. sweet. You know, maybe maybe I could do something to impress her mom. Aww. Because, yeah, I know, That's I know. Nice. Gotta take that L. We all gotta go through that. That's nice. But, I'd like a Kate, too. If you want to get me a Kate sometimes, I'll I'll say how gen- you're You're a real gentleman if you get me a Kate. You know that, right? You're a real nice man. If you get me a I'll keep that in mind. I'll, Absolutely. I'll send you, if I ever get any more money and I give you a little. Absolutely. You know what? If you want to. I, I won't ask for a video. If you wanna, say, hey, go get you yeah. Cake. You know what? If you want to just give me like a thousand dollars on Patreon and not even ask for a video, you'd be a real gentleman. I think I think that's a really <laughs> nice thing to do. I think we'll be really happy. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, shit. Fucking kid. <laughs> so what's on? Let's talk about the story. <laughs> so. You know, me being me and having a lot and being in a really good position where I can just throw throw around money with yeah. like not really think about it too much. You know, I thought, okay, what if I uh, what if I treated her mom and her out for her birthday? Oh, oh god, I didn't really have money. I know. Oh, I know. fuck! <laughs> so not just the cake. You took them out to dinner too. I know. Tell me, know. tell me, you didn't take them to Red Lobster with the cheddar biscuits? No, I took them to. Uh, Olive Garden. Oh, um, that's even more expensive. I know. Oh, I know. fuck. <laughs> yeah. I know. How, how are you going to have this bitch eating the breadsticks? Just get those L's ready. Just get those L's ready. How are you going to have this bitch eating the fucking Olive Garden breadsticks? Your boy, Karama Midtow, isn't even eating the, the fucking Olive Garden breadsticks, but these old ass bitches are eating the fucking breadsticks, man. How- I know. Oh, <laughs> damn. Oh, uh, I know. Thinking back on it, I'm like, fuck, I wasted it. So much money, oh. and what did I get out of it? Nothing. Shit. Well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We're scarfing anyway, down those breadsticks. Uh, no, I it's painful. Oh, so, throughout this whole time, all the way up to that point, I could already tell her mom approved of me. Like the way oh, how yeah. she talks to me, the way how she sees how I interact with her daughter, I could definitely tell she look. She sees a lot of good qualities in me that she would love her daughter to at least look for in a in a potential husband or whatever because they're pretty traditional you know yeah so uh i'm reading the chat right now with the all <laughs> <laughs> yo uh, oh shit took the bitch to olive garden man oh shit <laughs> bro tell me you didn't get them the well, fucking tiramisu for dessert and shit the what tell me you didn't get them like a slice of tiramisu for fucking dessert I, that's the cake that I got her. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, man. Fuck. Oh, got me figured out. Holy Jesus shit. Jesus Christ, bro. You that, It's not enough that you fed the bitch the breadsticks. You got her fucking tiramisu also. Shit. How, how, much, how much do you want to bet that cake was from that store? Like seven ninety nine, bro. I have that, bro. I, eat, I used to eat that shit all the time. It was like an $8 fucking slice of cake, man. No, no, no. I'm telling you a whole game. Oh, fuck. I don't know. Like 20, 30 bucks? Nope. 50? 50, yeah. Holy fucking cock. But that yeah. bitch. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Bro, oh. for, for, for 50 bucks, I could have writ- wrote, written you the fucking Midtow Bible. Fucking 10 Testaments and shit. <laughs> and you bought that bitch tiramisu. Oh. Uh, Jesus Christ. I know, man. I know. Well, that's the thing, though, is that it wasn't for the it wasn't for the chick. It was for her mom because her mom was pretty sweet. But regardless, I gotta take the L anyway because oh. it wasn't, cause if it wasn't for the chick, I wouldn't be doing that. Period. And that was that is my fucking fault. So please, oh. whoever's listening to this, do not make that same mistake. Jesus Christ! Uh, no, but what does make it a little fifty dollar <laughs> cake? Oh. I got her, well, not for dessert, but, like, I did get them a little bit of this um, <laughs> white grape wine. I oh. forgot what it was exactly, but it was some fucking wine. Did you buy that from the I Olive Garden, really too? You just was at the Olive Garden. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bro, how much was that tab? Like, $600 at the fucking end of the night? Like, shit. No, no. I'd say <laughs> a combination of everything, I spent a little, uh, a little... Under two hundred dollars. Jesus, the, tap the, dancing the, Christ! The dinner. I know, I know. Uh, I, I really wish I, I listened to Tom. I really wish I had Tom Likas's. Uh, um, if you know who that is, yeah, I know I Tom wish I knew Jesus who he Christ. is uh, back then because the forty dollar rule. Okay, even that I, I would have been happy. 
live in the forty dollars. Bro, room. I have the fucking dollar fifty rule, bro, and that's your bitch ass gets a fucking McChicken at the fucking McDonald's. <laughs> I have the dollar fifty rule, bro. Fuck, bro. But you yeah, just gave me get that. you just gave me the title of this live stream. This is gonna be called the Olive Garden live stream. So you just gave me the title. Holy shit! <laughs> I just can already me. imagine a potential video coming you just, out. You just gave moment. me the fucking title but, for this live stream. See, but see, I tell this story as a potential warning for other guys because you need to spot because the red flags were there, <laughs> and I was stupid. I was completely fucking stupid, oh. and I didn't notice them it's up until this one point. So I this need I, this is my story for you guys. Now again, because I was living a pretty good lifestyle, I, I worked at a pretty good job. The two hundred wasn't really nothing. Like to me, it wasn't nothing. Like yeah. it really wasn't. But to a lot of guys, it's a lot. And right now, in my current living situation, yeah. situation it is a lot. So yeah, yeah uh, definitely for all the men out there, listen to this. And listen very careful, <laughs> and and heed my words, and to see how my story plays out. And do not be the simp. Do not be that guy <laughs> that I tried to be. Oh. Especially for a female that does not appreciate you. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I bet you fucking drove them there too, didn't you? In the Chrysler three hundred. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you. I bet you they took a oh. bunch of to-go boxes too, didn't they? <laughs> I have no idea, man. Oh, I bet you they took. I that, bet you they took a shitload of food to go. I bet you they were eating Olive Garden for the next three days, weren't they? <laughs> oh yeah, they had a nice little, <laughs> nice little nice fucking little care package. Of, uh, they had a nice little fucking nice care, little package, care package, didn't they? <laughs> my shit clean yeah. you know but i just wanted to get it you know professionally clean that way you know i never touch it it's yeah. nice and clean when i take them out yeah. but uh, here's the thing even the mom had a lot of these bad traits so when she got into the car like again there's nothing like the car is yeah. <laughs> yeah apparently she she's like she points to some fucking dust in the corner of the dashboard and it's like oh this car is filthy i'm like in my mind, I'm like, what the fuck you mean it's filthy? Like, I just had this shit clean and I didn't fucking touch it yeah. for a whole week. What do you mean this shit filthy? Uh, that kind of peeved me a little bit. That but, was on the way to know, the Olive Garden? Whatever. That was on the way to you? Uh, go <laughs> oh, on... No, that was, yeah, that was when we got into the car. <laughs> oh, shit. Because when we got into the car, we were waiting for the, we were, we were waiting for the, for her daughter, the yeah. chick. We are waiting for her to come out. She was, okay, so here's the thing. When I showed up to the house, she already knew the plan. I told her all this shit that was going to happen today. She was wearing, like, this bummy-ass, like, shirt and, like, some tight leather, like, pants, right? Uh -huh. and, and and I had to pull her aside and ask her, I'm like, you're not going out on that, are you? And she's like, yeah, I am. I'm like, Dude. I'm like, you really? You're, like, you're going to go out like that on your mom's birthday? And then she just kind of, like, she kind of, like, got silent. So when I took her mom to the car and we just sat there and waited for her, I talked to her a little bit and whatever. She didn't come down in a really nice like blouse that yeah. really just like it was really like it wasn't too fancy, but it was like you know it was definitely a fucking upgrade from that goddamn bummy ass t shirt. I'm like right. fuck, thank you, because even before that, um, when I used to take the girl out, she would always look like a fucking bum, yeah. and she's a fucking fashion student too she's she's a fashion major hmm. and he's going out with me looking like a fucking bum i'm like come on and, and that shit would always annoy me i'm like look like, i'm only here looking pretty nice dressed up we're ready to go out have a good time and here i am with this chick that doesn't even fucking try yeah. and, and you want to know what really pissed me off when i call when i asked her about She's like, oh, I only get dressed up when I go with my with my girlfriend. Oh. I'm, like, well, I'm like, what the fuck is that smoke? Yeah, she's mean? already got like, your what? ass, bro. She's already got you fucking oh, hooked. Yeah. She doesn't have to oh, look yeah. good for you, bro. Yeah. You know? And that's the thing is that at that time, I didn't, you know, I, I was raised very, I was raised, raised by a oh. very strict mother. Now, yeah. I had both parents growing up, thankfully. Yeah. But it was mostly my mom that had more influence over me so okay, yes yeah, and, and i've noticed this with many other men who have low self-esteem mm. just all this negative traits because i i had those traits you know yeah. i know it's all the men that have these traits most of them 
have a really strict mom or have a really like <laughs> uh, I don't want to say shitty so to speak but it's just like the mom was more of an influence and yeah. that just completely yeah. tear down and she the raised you she raised you to be the man that she wished uh, all of those bad boys she was attracted to could be right. She, she, yeah, she 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 raised you to be someone she would never fuck in real life. You know. Yep. yep. <laughs> and, and that's the, and here's the thing though is that her teachings worked. It never got me laid. <laughs> of course not. Of course not. And, and that's the thing is what and like I can't ever explain this shit to my mom because she's gonna flip a shit. Like she's gonna flip like a table when I try explaining this to her. But literally. All of her teachings are nice if you're a husband. But in the, in not, the 30s. It does not fucking work. In the 30s. It does not fucking work in the yeah. dating scene. Because I've had many chances with women before, but because of this fucking bullshit-ass teaching my mom gave me, I didn't jump at the chance. Because of I was taught, oh, you gotta be a gentleman. Oh. You gotta do this. You gotta do oh, that. Yeah. And I've wasted so many good opportunities. That absolutely. could be a different... Uh, I'll definitely call you for a different story on that. Yeah, absolutely. But let's just focus on this one. Oh, and by All the way, bro, by the way, before was, you continue... Before you continue, uh, before you continue, bro, yes. you reminded me of that $40 Tom Likas rule. I'm starting a new rule. It's called the Karama rule. All right? And it's that you spend zero money... You spend zero dollars... <laughs> you spend zero dollars on a woman until you fuck her, okay? And then after you fuck yeah. her... After you fuck her... You're allowed to spend ten dollars on her. That's it. So after you fuck her, you're allowed to spend ten dollars. That's it. That's the tier two. That's, that's tier yes. two right there. After that's actually that's tier one on my Patreon. But after you fuck a chick, you can spend ten dollars on her. That's it. Zero dollars before you hit the ass, and no more than ten dollars yep. after for the rest and, of your and life. And here's the thing, though. No, I I always believed because I always saw it with many successful men that you needed money to get that. And from your example, because I remember hearing it from either one oh, of your streams or one yeah. of your videos, you personally talked about how you were poor and you pulled in more bitches yes. than when you weren't poor. Yes, bro. When I was homeless, so I was getting you more laid. To know how to throw the game. Bro, the money repels. Here's the thing about money, bro. When you have money, yeah, you'll attract more women. But you attract women that want to suck the money out of you before they fuck you. Yeah, you attract the gold diggers. So yeah. it's pointless to have money as far as attracting oh, yeah. women. It's fucking useless. And, and that's the thing. That was that was my strategy in life is to not talk about the things I have, not talk about my car because I don't want people. Judging it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter like, if they see it. They're gonna start. Yeah. They're gonna form an agenda. You know, the second girl right. saw my Mercedes, bro. I had girls that would agree to go out with me, right? So I yep. meet them, and we're meeting on some hookup type shit. And then I pull up in the Mercedes, and then all of a sudden, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not that kind of girl. You have to take me to yep. dinner first. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm like, bitch, yep. you just said you were going <laughs> to suck the skin off my dick on fucking Tinder. And now you see the Mercedes. No, 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 no. You got to take me to dinner. I'm a, I'm a classy lady. <laughs> girl, I've never had a girl tell me she's a classy lady until I got a fucking Mercedes. Oh, yeah. I never oh, had yeah. a girl tell me you have to buy me dinner. You have to open the car door for me. When I was driving my fucking Honda Civic, I never once, I met, I was with tons of bitches. I never once had one say you have to open the door for me. Suddenly I pull up in a Mercedes. Yeah. Now I have to open.